Hello, thank you for stopping by and looking at our video. We appreciate you being here. Um, so we're just going to talk a little bit about our first plot. We we've been looking for lands for a very long time, and we've went we've gone through the hills and the valleys, all over, just trying to find some lands that we could use for farming. Both of us have a background in farming in that our parents are farmers and they've been doing it for some time. Um, through collaboration with some persons who are in farming, we actually got a piece of land that we could start with. A farmer was very, very willing to lease us a piece of his land. And the good thing is that this piece of land came with some irrigation hose as well. So we're grateful to him for that and once we got the land we were very excited so we started our plowing started our harrowing and then the furrowing came um, we were at this plot very often we just went there sometimes just to look and to see what was happening we were very excited to start on this journey and it is something that we would look forward to every day after work to go to to look what was happening after we got the land and it, we got it um, prepared we got someone to assist us on that plot someone very capable um, and we started putting down the irrigation holes like that was the next step we had them placed some of them were one per one per row and others we had two per row then directly following that we did some planting savannah kai was very very interested in planting she enjoyed it just as we did um one thing though we we grossly underestimated the time and effort that it would take to plant and because of that this took us about took us about five days to plant to complete planting about 5,500 trees we purchased 6,000 seedlings from um, from a nursery in Portland and then we started planting out took us five days as I said before with help from some persons that were brought in to assist us with it planting was an exciting time for us as well and we got our hands dirty we got very involved in the process and these trees really were like they were like our babies um, just being a part of us and us being able to to be there from the start and to see the progress and the process as it goes along it was very motivating it was something exciting that we had to look forward to and we were finally complete um, with the with the planting and we were again we just went there in the evenings when we had the time most evenings we went there and we just looked around we just um walked through looked what was happening and did our little fixes here and there where we thought necessary and then <laughs> then the weeds came and weeds for days or should we say weeds for acres like we could not have planned for this. We had a little rain and then the weeds just, they just came without, like they just came so, so thick. Um, we got help, we employed persons to come and remove the weeds. But by the time, by the time we were able to remove some, they would start growing back because of the challenge with the weeds and we saw that it would be so expensive to get someone to remove them yo people yo yeah the talk don't bad by nobody for them things rain and fall tired i was still at it put up the plastic mulching don't bad mind nobody for them things all right straight the plastic came in as an afterthought. It came in as something, the plastic mulch, it came in as something that we could now use to help prevent the weed from growing so quickly. And it would really help us, even though it was a heavy investment in the first part, 
um, it really paid off in that the weeds didn't come up as much around the peppers. And when we were weeding now with the plastic, it was just weeding um, through the, the holes um, at the pepper roots. This again took us a very long time. We again underestimated what it would mean to play down the plastic. We didn't um, understand the technique initially and so we're doing it very wrong. But once we mastered it, we were able to complete complete this in about three weeks. Um, and it really it really assisted with the with the weeds the rains delayed us as well in putting it down and then the rains also caused a challenge in that it was um the land we saw we realized at the time that the land didn't have very good drainage and so the water settled a lot and we lost some plants um during that rainy period we lost some plants and we we really realize that peppers are not really fond of of that much water but all in all as i said the plastic was a very good investment at that time once we completed laying down the plastic it was just about keeping the the between the forest clear of weed and so we started weeding between the the furrows but again we've learned that we don't need to do that there are chemicals that can be used to burn or to clear the weed between the furrows and it wouldn't it doesn't affect the plants that are there so now again on plot two and even on plot one we've started to do that process and so again we, we don't have that challenge with the weed as we've had before so i think we can safely say that we've mastered weed for now we've mastered weeds for now savannah kai was always on the plot with us we had to parent while while trying to start up this this farm we had full-time jobs we have full-time jobs and so whatever was being done was around that the then reaping time came and thanks to our family they were really there with us persons left there well on their free time from their jobs they came and everybody chipped in and we were able to 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 pick the peppers um we also paid persons to assist us in picking and it was really really fulfilling to be able to see um this output this coming out of what we've worked so hard for and just the 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 family being around us and everybody trying to make it trying to make it as fun as possible it was it was a good experience and knowing that now we have this to show for all this work that we've done but then we realized that the plants weren't doing as well as we would have hoped we weren't getting the yield and the plants weren't looking healthy so we solicited advice from a, a fellow farmer um well other farmers would usually give us advice but nothing would work we solicited advice from another farmer who would have done scotch product before and he he told us he gave us an idea of some of the nutrients that the plant would need and like the pest management program and we realized that the plants were grossly under fertilized we weren't giving them half of what they need and then the pest management was not up to par pest and disease management and so we tried to we tried to change things up but um we still we still weren't get we saw we saw significant improvement but we still weren't getting the yield as as we thought we should have and so we decided that we were going to just remove the plants and start over this was one of the hardest decisions that we had to make to remove the plants um we deliberated on it so many times we've asked for advice from other persons we've asked um, we've been encouraged even by our parents to keep the plants because they're still bearing but they were still bearing and fruiting but they weren't producing what they were supposed to they were producing far less and so we removed the plants and decided to start something else on this plot um so we're going to try sweet corn um so you can follow us on that journey and we invite you to come and be a part of that journey with us thank you